everyone, Sebastian here from Atmosika, and welcome to the first ever uh, Halloween live play, hopefully the first of many. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, consider it today, and uh, there are other ways to support the channel, but firstly, I want to thank all the fantastic supporters on Patreon, especially some of the guys at some of the higher tiers as well. Thank you so much for contributing to the channel and making this all a possibility. It's not just me in this room. I do have some fantastic players joining me for this live play. Hey guys, say hi. Hey everyone. Hi. Everyone. So we have Colin from the Crazy Crafter, Danny from 3D Printer Tabletop, Leif from Devs and Dice, and Travis from RPG Music Maker. You guys all have fantastic characters that we'll be using in today's live play. Hello everyone, my name is Eli Dan Summerflow. I'm a furball cleric, and may the roots of Sylvanas strengthen you always. My name is uh, Fabino De Luca. I like to look for monsters that are very different, strange, you know, legends. I'm a bard. I am Bragor, obviously the brains of this operation. I'm a half-orc barbarian. I like to smash things when they deserve it. <laughs> Sharad is the name, magic is the game, and I will be playing a warlock on some sort of holy mission. I keep my motives for myself. Fantastic. Wow, some fantastic players here, and I, we can't wait to get started. So let's not mess around. Let's get into this Halloween action as we bounce around a few time zones here. Everyone's checking in from all around the globe. So let's get this start game started. The Shade Bog is a haunted place. Some of you are here for glory, answers to mysteries or divine purpose. But amongst the mists and fetid waters, the hovel of Gwendalbrook tells tales of a foul creature, a ghostly woman snatching people away in the mists to fill her lanterns. The lady, as the locals call her, only grows more powerful with each passing moon. Gwendalbrook has more smell than hospitality. The unmistakable odor of civilization. Wood smoke mixed with cow dung, rotten fish, and the acrid scent of stale swamp air. The thatched roofs and low buildings sit like fat toads in the sodden muck of the swamp. You're being led into the town by a small goblin as you've been kind of uh, wandering the mists for quite some time. And he's it's, it's this short kind of squat, uh, little, he's got these, these large overalls on and this long curly kind of prospector-like beard. You were kind of going throughout the, the shade bog and got lost and turned around and kind of led you towards this town, the small hovel of Gwendalbrook. And as you're kind of making your way through the town, you can see the, the sunken, sullen faces of a lot of the, the townsfolk just kind of like milling around as they kind of like kick around in some of the muddy, muddy puddles. You make your way to what the, the inn of the establishment, the, the sleepy eel. It kind of leads you inside and you see a lot of just kind of homely folk, just more, more so just kind of keeping to their own business. And it leads you up to the bar where you see a more kind of taller, ganglia-like uh, gentleman with a very kind of beaky-like nose and uh, these kind of long strands of hair underneath a tall bowler hat. And he kind of greets you. Oi, sweeps! This looks like you got some uh, new customers for you here, right? That's right, so... Uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll be around here if you need me, but... Uh, uh, Make yourselves at home. Welcome to Gwendalbrook. What can I do mm. for you, uh, What can I do for you, fine folk? We come uh, looking for this uh, this creature, a lady, a special lady that's in the area. I don't know if uh, the legends are true, but I'd like to know more if you know anything. I'm, su I'm surprised you heard about the lady. He kind of picks up a, a glass and just starts kind of polishing it. Uh, one, he kind of hands some drinks 
uh, as well to a, a maiden that kind of passes by. Yeah, you can see the table 12. Yeah, we've got a lady in the woods too. She's been causing some right trouble. It's been, uh, it's, we've, uh, we've tried keeping, uh, keep her at bay and stuff with uh, some of the folks who are a bit superstitious. They'll keep some <laughs> uh, little trinkets and stuff around the doors and stuff, but she's been getting a little bit more hostile as the mists have been getting encroachingly thick and fast. That moon's getting high and big in the sky and it's not much. That we can do uh it's 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 well if you if you know anything about it if you know something that could help us out oh that would be fantastic um any uh but there is tale of maybe perhaps talk to sweeps over there he's got a bit more of a lay of the land as it would uh he's he's knows a bit more about the superstitious and stories around here as well there's some people that mostly just keep to themselves really um can i interest you in some of the uh common hospitalities that we have here we're an healing village really you can uh, help yourself to all kinds of eel ales and eel mugs and stuff. So uh, anything would be uh, of the uh, establishment uh, for a pretty prime grind, corny is uh, yours, your um, met. Um, I I didn't want to say this, but uh, I don't know if you know who I am, but my name is Fabino De Luca. You might have heard uh, my song, my. Uh, my little baby dragon that's my song and you know we we expect the hospitality of the area and uh if you know maybe we could get a little discount on some food we're we're very hungry and um you know i think it's nice to treat a, a star like me a famous composer singer like me to uh to a little bit of food for the joy and the art that I bring to the world, eh? Oh, let me take a look at you. Maybe I'll just, my eyes are all weary from tending to all these eels. Kind of takes off his hat. You can see he only has about three fingers on one hand. Uh, he kind of looks at it for a moment, puts it back on, takes a good hard look at you. For, for being like perking up my, my chest, my chest like this. <laughs> Like, kind of like playing with my hair, you know? Well, you're a handsome fella, I'll give you that. But, uh, I can't say I have heard of you. But, uh, oh, you, you say you're a traveling bard or some kind. Perhaps we could, uh, use some of your talents here in the inn. Sure, pick up the folks in here, maybe get them to spend a bit more corn. Mmm. Parino. Fabino does not work like that. I I sing when I'm inspired when it's when it's the right time. Okay? And uh that's why I come with my friends. Because my friends, you know, they they inspire me, but not right now. We get inspired when we when we get to talk to the lady. Eh? Okay, we you see what I mean? You understand what I mean? Get inspired when you talk to the lady. Right, you want me to put you in the right direction first, is that right? Well... Exactly. Well... Exactly. Alright, I'll go talk to Sweeps to see what he thinks. Uh, he kind of puts down the mug and goes over to that goblin that le led you in. Uh, and as you guys are kind of looking around, start to see it go eerily quiet in here. You notice the lantern lights start to dim. A chill enters the air as your breath hangs on the air. Silence falls across the room. The glass windows explode inward. As townsfolk are scattered with shards of glass and splinters of wood, the look of petrified horror falls upon them as a ghostly mist pours in and these wet, scaly claws begin to reach inside. Brega, you're up! Finally! <laughs> uh, can I get you guys to roll initiative for me? Yes. Oh! Oh, there we go. One plus three. Oh, three. A sad seven for me. That's okay. a ten for, for, for Eladan. Eladan's in the lead. Fabino. Fabino got a 14. 14. Alright, what do I get? 
I got a one. <laughs> okay. Fabina goes first. <laughs> I'm gonna take out my sword like this and I'm gonna go, Let's go! Fabino leaves the charge! And I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna I'm run up to him. I'm gonna I'm try and attack him with my, my moon touch sword. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll to a hit. Okay. I got a 16 to hit. 16 will do it. You kind of pull out your blade and go slicing right into its flesh. It kind of reels back from some of the pain. Uh, but it, it, you can see now it's kind of cataract, sullen eyes now just focused in on you instead it was kind of going for one of the towns for just grabbing it around the leg and now it's intent on you as you can see another one kind of approaching from beyond the hole in the wall uh it oh. is iladan turn all right i, uh, I did 10 oh. damage in case ten, that makes a difference 10 damage all right you strike that one dead it falls to the floor Woo. But you see more coming in through the hole and it looks like they're all kind of intent on these people um and if anyone's kind of confused about the initiative system it's a, a homebrew initiative system where we just kind of roll for the highest first and then we go counterclockwise and so that's kind of what's going on i uh, see all right, all right. <laughs> um iladan you're right. first Great. Uh, I, I I see I see uh, Fabino jump into the action, and I turn to him and I say, "Oh man, I'm gonna I'm not gonna let my favorite bard get in on all the action here by himself. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk right up to uh, to this creature, and I'm going to ca I'm gonna um, reach out and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, do a poison spray on it. This is a con save for you, Seb. That's a con save of 14. 14. Yep. All right. Uh, I got a, I got a six plus any bonuses, nothing. All right, yes, seven on the, on the save, it fails. Awesome. Okay, so that's, that's a fail. So that is gonna be, whoo, baby. I like Ela Dan likes that. That's gonna be sixteen poison damage 16. to this creature. Ooh. You see, as Ela Dan kind of like comes into the action. Uh, just as one of them was kind of like reaching through the door and grabbing at a small child, you burst forth and purge this acidic kind of magic out. And you can see it just melt the flesh from its bones and it just kind of turns into a puddle of muck in the doorway. That's going to create some hazardous terrain around that gate, uh, around that doorway, just to kind of like be a little bit kind of slick and slidey around there, which might be to your advantage. All right, right now it is the monster's Careful, turn. Careful, fellas, going to be gonna be a little bit of slip and slide around here so one of those monsters is going you can see it's comes through to the door and it's going to try and get through the muck of its friend and get right up to you Eladan first uh, I'm gonna give it disadvantage because of the muck on the floor uh, it was a 12 and a 4 it uh, 4 is not gonna do it so yes it's slopes out but it slips on the muck and you can see it kind of fall against the wall another one comes in through the room and as you can see Fabino standing over the corpse of its other friend it comes towards you Fabino you can see it's kind of sullen eyes now focused on you it's grayish skin kind of just dangling off its bones it has this kind of very wet matte appearance and it's, it's hair kind of like these strands you find black strands just kind of toss about as it kind of lashes at you with a bite uh, 17 to hit he hits me 17 all right you will suffer oh, that's, a, that's a decent chunk of damage how much did I take <laughs> you take eight piercing damage kind of bites right into your shoulder and you kind of like ah it's not your playing arm so that you feel feel all right all right that's it for the monster's turn as you can see uh a couple more kind of hanging back in the mists just kind of staying back a bit all right charade it is your turn all right you, so looking yeah. at all this chaos i say 
it seems like these rumors were true. And then I take my amulet and, and I whisper, Master, please lend me some of your power while I cast an, Ed an Eldritch Blast at the one attacking Ooh. Fabino. So that will be... Ooh, oh, nat 20. Natural, okay, natural 20. Nat 20. Yes, Whoa. it is. I, I got... Yeah, there we go. That's... That's Struck critical hit. Truth, <laughs> Double damage, yeah. Wow, well, yes. Struck truth, baby. All right, right, yeah, roll, roll 18. damage. 18 damage. Uh, 18. You focus Woo. on the energy of your patron, and you can feel it flowing through you powerfully. Something in this place where you've been traversing is honing your skill and powering your connection to your patron ever so more powerfully. And you see it erupt from your amulet and go through not one, but even another creature standing behind it. Two lay dead now. You can see a couple that uh, others have been skulking in the mist. Uh, it just kind of s seem a little bit hesitant, but they still burst through forward towards you. Right. That will be the end of my turn. Yeah, your turn. It is Bregar's turn. You can feel the rage building in you. As yes, you can see, an, for uh, reasons that uh, we would think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there any enemies uh, close by? You can see a couple track. of gangling hands just starting to reach for the entrance. They're not quite uh, in yet. That uh, will do if I can attack them. <laughs> all right, yeah, you can you can sprint up. To, you might have to get a little bit outside to get up to them, but uh, it's, it should be easy enough. So, so uh, I think what I'm like, uh, Bregor is standing there, and he's like, everyone is moving so fast. So he's like, you know, Fabino, I told you, stop being so fast. So I start to rage if I can attack someone on, on my attack action. Because otherwise, it stops, which I assume I can. Dear Dungeon Master. Uh, you, can, you can attack someone. You just have to step outside okay, cool. to do it. All right. Well, then that's fine. I rage and I yell at Fabino. I told you not to be so bloody fast. Hit no, 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 no. Farino, that's no. what Farino wants to do, okay? <laughs> and then I attack the first uh, enemy I see. And I'm probably going to use my great axe here. Uh, oh, so. all right, go for it, yeah. Oh, come on, of course. Uh, one plus seven, eight to hit. Eight, eight's not going to do it. As you kind of like feel the rage <laughs> coursing through, you swing on down and you almost hit uh, a, a, a old lady that was cowering down by a, the, the broken walls. She's like, looks up at you. What are you doing here? Get out of here. What's <laughs> you, Spade? Did you see what you green skits here? What's the fear? Hey now, Bregar, you got to swing at the big mean scaly things, not the old I, lady, all right? Yes, man. yes, I know, I know. This is not as easy as it looks like. Time to hit a home run now. Okay, Fabino, you're up to bat, buddy. Uh, you can see that uh, these other ones, it, there, are, there are two more that are just coming towards through the hole, and they are intent on grabbing as many people as they can. Uh, looks like they've got the old grabby hands ready. What do you want to do, buddy? They're kind of at the entrance, not quite into the room yet. Okay, so... I'm gonna cast a hypnotic pattern, like, right where they are, so it doesn't hit Bregar. Like, on the, on the other side, right? Okay. And, uh, so what that does is it creates this 30-foot cube within a certain, within range. And then it's like a pattern, like, waves kind of go in the area, and they have to do a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say two of them will have to do it. Yeah, there's probably only two out there, so... Okay. Uh, and what's the save for that? Uh, 14. 14. Wisdom. No, neither of them save. Both fail. Oh, see so the... They yes. Both, they Go. both become charmed for the duration, which is up to one minute. And so the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Okay. But if it takes, if it takes damage or someone else uses an action to shake it, it gets out of its stupor. So we, uh... It can't take damage, and I'm gonna say, Don't touch them! We must figure out what those things are! Whoa, Go, Gregor! Go! 
All right, as <laughs> like these Pokemon. hypnotic patterns come out, erupting as this magic, you can see it kind of fills the air and kind of swirls around these gray creatures, and they kind of stumble for a moment, and they kind of stand like motionless zombies for a moment. But as you can see, a lot of the folks just kind of like picking themselves up, kind of shaken from it. Some of the, the old lady it was like, comes up to you, Brega, and just kind of hits you. Ah! Don't do that again! <laughs> That's the last time! Yeah. Uh, and you see... Uh, you should not be here. Go home and... I will. Something, I don't know. I'll come home with so I wanna, I wanna stand on a table real quick, and I wanna yell out to the people, Has anybody seen these things before? Tell me now! I saw them. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just saw them. They attacked us. Of course you just seen them. But you know what I mean, please, to the people! And I'm gonna point my sword around at the people like this, on top of the table, you know? I duck out of the way of his rapier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I go sort of to the side of, of the Fabian, I was like, yes, that's what he means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so you kind of go out, uh, it kind of gather each other, and like you can see some of the people are kind of shaken, uh, the, the the custodian, the bowler hat guy, is just kind of like shaking his head, looking at the wall. Oh no, this won't do. I don't like this this hole in the wall. This is uh, this is gonna be bad for business. But, um, have we seen these before? Yeah, yeah, we see them. Yeah, we see them. We see them. See them come around every now and then. But usually the people that see them don't uh, don't end up coming back to tell you that they see them. So well, we're absolutely thankful for you guys helping out and uh, holding your own here. These attacks, oh, they're getting more and more. I mean, they've never burst into a building like this before. Whoever these these creatures are, oh, he's just going to like point at that one was going to be. Like, that was going to be my question to you, sir. Uh, this is the first time they've they've come out of out of the marsh and attacked people like this. Well, sometimes you hear about them kind of like skulking around the marsh, and they'll they'll pull you down, drown as we'll call them. They pull you into the water, hold you under there until you're dead. But, uh, they, we've heard stories, and you've, you've definitely had a few folk come uh, come brush close uh, close to death with them. But um, yeah, they've never they've never come bursting into buildings like this. Whatever this power that's building up in the marsh that you were talking about, Fabino, this lady, she's bad news. Mm. Sweeps kind of comes up to you, this kind of prospector goblin with these little uh, kind of like overalls and the the white beard. So, Joe, sounds like we've got a problem here. But you guys might be a solution to our problem. Let's say we uh, help you each other out. Maybe we can make it worth your while. Take care of this power that's building up in this swamp, causing us some grief. We haven't been able to go to Waterdeep for days just because of all this mist building up. But I know the swamps pretty well. Maybe I could lead you somewhere. I know where the lady uh, kind of, uh, she skulks around near the old church. When he mentioned the power, I looked back at Sherrod immediately. I kind of have a smirk on my face. That would be so generous of you to lead us to that source of power. It sweeps kind of just like stands up like, Well, the moon is high tonight. That means the eels will be raven. Raven. We're having something beers out there. Let's get a move on. Let's get into the mist. Let's get, let's get going. Um, this way, no, no time to waste. You don't want any more people that are walls to explode. This way. As you step out of the, you start to see that town get further from you. Start to hear more of the, the sounds around you. You can see these gnarled, root-like trees stand in the mist as placid puddles of the swamp gleam in the moonlight. The air smells sulfurous, 
overlaid with an unpleasant mingling of mildew and mold, and a thick with acrid moisture and almost difficult to breathe. Scattered sounds of creatures dance in the air, whilst the sodden ground sucks beneath your boots with every step. He's, he's leading you. He's talking. He's, he's, he's walking and talking. And you're just kind of like making your way through the mist and kind of like avoiding some of like the, the deeper puddles. And he's just like talking about the, the lady, the mist. He's like, it's never been the same since she's come here. She wasn't always here. She used to live on the outskirts of town. Uh, it's a long time ago. Don't remember her name now. But, um, yeah, she went, she went mad. So mad. Probably. That, that she used to mm. run that chapel, the, the church. That's where I'm heading there now. That's where I'm leading you here in the moonlight. Kind of looks up at the moon. It's big tonight. Huge, that moon. Oh. Oh. Everyone says that chapel has been nothing but bad luck for this town ever since they put it up. Uh maybe a hundred years ago so i don't know we've had people popping through and just like that chapel you should tear it down and like nope full of ghosts when they're going there so, um can some uh, so can we get a uh actually can we get a uh let's see let's get a uh marching order would be good mm -hmm. So I'm comfortable being in the front, having my sword out, you know, um, my moon touch sword to be able to say, you know, Farino does not get lost in the mist. He goes into the mist. Let's go. Okay. You know, like, I need a goblet. So, uh, should I be uh, first or last or somewhere in the middle? Probably, you know, what do you think? You are smart. I'm gonna say, Bregar. Yes. I I need you with me, okay? Okay, yeah. And Those other know. guys, they don't, they're not like us, okay? And I'm gonna whisper this to him. They're not like us, okay? Nah, but stay with me, stay with me, okay? Okay, dude. And I'm gonna look back at them like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we good, we good, come on, let's go. As um as you look back and say that, I'm slowly like I'm like, hey, I'm 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 waving as I'm like throwing little bits of seeds down, trying to tamp it down as we go along through the marsh. Kinda try to bring Helidon back on hurt and just stay on my guard and tell him should be careful. The smell of magic is strong here. You should stay on your guard, my friend. Oh, I, 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 I didn't smell. I thought that was just the the smell of the marsh. But thank you for the warning. I will be sure to keep my guard up. All right. Maybe now is not the best time to plant right now. An extra set of eyes is a good idea, Sharon. Let's let let let's go. And then, um, I guess I'll go. I'll I'll, I'll go third in the order there. Uh, uh, Sebastian. Perfect. So third. Wait. So third. Then I will close the march. All right. Skulking behind, kind of like this. Kind of what we've got here. Yeah, in the oh. mists. In the mists. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. right. So I'm in the middle, so I can reach everywhere. In case <laughs> we're attacked from any direction. Okay. Except the front door, the back. Sort of. Right, I, I give like a thumbs up. Good job, Breger. All right, yeah. at, Fabino, as you're taking the lead. Can you roll uh, with advantage because um, uh, uh, because sweep, sweeps sweeps is hel helping you? Just uh, just roll a okay. uh, survival check there for me, just uh, tr yeah, just to see how you guys are making. You can roll with advantage because sweeps is helping you. He's looking around, he's talking. Okay, that's a twelve. Twelve. All right. As uh, as you're squelching around and you can hear all these sounds. Uh, and it's just the, 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 you can feel like there's all this, like, weird sense of, like, presence in the mist. Uh, 
has has kind of it even seems like even with all all like Sweeps' know how, it seems to be getting turned around a little bit himself and you get you start to see like you get up to this small little kind of open part of water where it looks like there's a little lazy canoe just drifts by, just empty. You hear these like little little whispers in your voice. And it's not long whilst going past that that you start to see this this figure just in the mist, just standing, just uh, a bit farther ahead of you. It's a little hard to see exactly uh, the what type of it is. You just kind of see a silhouette almost. And you just see like uh, it looks like it's kind of haloed by some kind of green glow behind it. Oh, is that her? I don't know. Ask her. Me? I'm the one paying you the silver. You get up there, big man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around. And I'm gonna say, Farino is a true leader. And stay back. Let Damn me handle this. Damn I'm gonna walk a few feet forward, still away. I'm gonna cast detect magic on the the lady. Ooh. So. For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. Okay. As you cast the spell, you see, uh, you can kind of see like this it's almost like you see like the, the ley lines of the world it's just like there's something about where you are in this location you can see like almost like cracks in the earth like there's some kind of dark seeping of this almost like upward dripping of magic coming from below some kind of very dark necrotic kind of sense of magic but from behind the statue itself you do get in some kind of it, it seems like there is something behind the statue rather than uh, from the figure rather than it's uh it, it itself um and as you cast this spell that light that was from behind it starts to kind of come towards you like this just little ember of light and seems like drawn by your magic it gets quite right right next to you fabina i'm gonna turn around and i'm gonna say everything is good don't worry about it you guys this is a nice little ball of light it's gotta be interesting. I'm gonna say, ball of light. I need to know where the lady of the swamp is. Can you tell me, please? While Fabino does that, I will take my amulet and whisper to it, Master. It seems like your eternal reward is close. Mm. And just stay, stay in the back on my guard. Since I'm next to you, I'm gonna, and I'm a little bit inspired by you, so I'm going to take my axe and say, whisper to it, I have a very bad feeling about this. I've never <laughs> hit anything that small. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> uh, Eli pulls out a little jar and thinks about cap trying to capture the little ball of light. Maybe, maybe it can be captured and studied, and uh, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Real quick, um, Sebastian, um, um, Travis is right next to me. Sherrod's right next to me. Did I hear him whisper that to his amulet? Uh, were you whispering, Sherrod? Yeah, you were whispering. Yes, you, I was whispering. He was whispering. Uh, yeah, you, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could roll a perception check if you were. Yeah, I mean, you guys are walking around, listening for ghosts and stuff. Yeah, roll a perception there, Eladan. Great. Let's roll that perception. That's an eight. It's a, it's a little it's a little hard to tell he was whispering something something good something bad you know were you praying to sylvanas <laughs> i think i heard you praying to sylvanas that say you put in a good word for us i don't know what's about to happen here the ball this of is light ex exactly it moves closer i was to you, praying Bina. for us it's so close you can almost touch it it feels like there's this it's it's tiny it's tiny tiny little ball of light 
and it comes right up to you and it gets right up to your chest it could kind of feel it go through you for a moment and then you, I'm gonna you, like, you guys I'm gonna see like it kind put of put my arms out like this like dramatically you know like this is the inspiration I need. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like... This is this is something bad. I'm I'm ready with my axe to charge in if something happens. It comes out of Favina, kind of drifts there, and then it go and then it starts going in this particular direction. Slowly, almost like it's beckoning you forward. I'm for sure following it. There's no question. I'm going to just follow and say, listen, guys, I know what this is like. This thing is, is taking us to the lady. We need to go. Absolutely, my friend. All right, let's, let's follow, let's follow the light. Are yeah, you crazy? He's following balls of lights. This is not uh, oh. what I'm used to. All right. I'm gonna break our. We're, we'll be okay, man. Okay. <laughs> I've done this. I've done this hundreds of times, and I have experience with this kind of situation. And I promise you, we're gonna make it out of this. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna I'm find not your crew. Worried about that. I'm worried about. Yes, exactly. My crew, and I want to fight something. It's been nearly ten minutes since Maybe. I last chopped at something. Gregor, maybe it's taking us to your crew. Huh? No, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go! <laughs> and let us... Are you bastards crazy? Go. Don't you guys know everything <laughs> in this beast is trying to kill you? The bloody things come out of the water. There's balls of light. Even the freaking eels. They're not too thing to go. We should get try and find that queen if we're out here. Oh, she's around. I can feel it. There's a good fishing spot around here. These guys. Come down. These guys are expert. They know what they are doing. You guys. see that big fellow with the axe? Hello. We don't have to be scared of anything. Oh. You know that my hand is almost as big as your entire body. And I sort of put my, my, my hand on top of the little goblin. Sort of just to, you see... I, I could I could crush anything quite simply. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. Uh, with that help, uh, Travis, can you roll just a persuasion check with uh, advantage? Of course. Um, just making sure that my uh, there we go. So I will I will roll twice mm -hmm. since Take the I have better. advantage. That, that's a twelve. Twelve. Kind of nervously looks around and sees some of the bloop, 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 kind of bubbling in the in the, the bog water. Looks up at the moon. All right. All right. Uh, I don't feel too good about this. I ain't gonna lie. I'm balls of light. Things bursting through walls. I'm feeling the. Uh, I haven't even seen a eel for some time. I've been looking. I've been looking for it. But um, something about you, you guys, especially uh, the the big guy there, with his crushing ability. Feel like he well, crushed you me. you can always go back if you're scared. Oh, that's true. You uh, know the way. All right. As you guys following this this ball of light, you can see now that figure uh, in the, the mist was some kind of statue. So you come closer to it. Um, is this it, the statue that it came away from, Sebastian? It, like that it, it came right. behind the statue and it... Uh, Iladan, uh, you, you noticed this, but it looks quite a bit, um, a bit more kind of dilapidated and destroyed a bit. There's kind of like bits missing and stuff, but you, you recognize the figure of this statue uh, to be... Sylvanus. Got it. Notes. <laughs> A great DM. 
Yeah, he's got notes. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> not just not just fog and, and awesome lights, but he's got notes too. He's got notes. He's got, <laughs> I got notes here. Paper notes. <laughs> As we pass the statue, I, I sort of look to the little goblin and say, look, you were afraid of a statue. Boo. <laughs> it's nothing to be afraid of. No, I didn't mean um, boo, that's in scared. I mean, look at it. It's so I want to poop on this statue. Man, I'm so scared. I don't poop on it. What? Just give me a oh, minute. The... <laughs> I've got it a while. I'm going to cast a, I'm gonna cast a quick turn prestigitation on his... I'm going to cast a quick prestigitation and do like a little soiling of his pants. Like, dude, what's going on, man? Like, can you like, keep it together, man? <laughs> Okay. Wait a minute. You guys are mean. I'm gonna say to him. Something. I'm gonna say um, to him. Listen. You normally do. If you come, if you come with us, I won't tell anybody about what happened here in the swamp. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I won't poop on the statue. I'm sorry. I must sit myself my own pants. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Edeladan, you do notice that looking at the statue, it does seem to have whatever kind of like swampy, kind of colorless expanse that you guys have been traversing. It seems like there is a bit more kind of like wild roots around this statue. And mm -hmm. you, can, you can see like even though it's kind of been um, destroyed partially, there is, uh, there is some, some kind of life here. Um, can I... Um... Can I walk up uh, to the statue and cast detect magic on it? Let me let me see. I, if so real there. quick. Oh yeah, you. Have my to detect, detect magic. magic lasts. My detect magic lasts ten minutes with concentration, and oh, I have great. not done anything. So. Yes. So you, is that still, right. Is that still Kim? I'd say that's still um, tick, ticking along. Okay. Then I'm gonna hold so, off on that. Is can I can I exa do I do I do we feel or do we do we see anything else besides just the the natural growth? That's going around it. Is there any other yeah. magic that that we're able to feel as a result yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah. Like Fabino, you you kind of still looking around, even with all that kind of like dark voodoo magic around. Uh, just in this small kind of like spot, this singular spot, you do sense some kind of um, almost like uh, it's 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 not so much a, like a particular school of magic, but there is something there which seems to have a bit more of a positive presence. It seems like it has. Uh, some kind of almost like a radiant kind of equality to it um i see I, eli i see eli and i tell him um it seems like you know it seems like you like this thing and he said right there look there i'm gonna point to that little spot mm, the little roots um, and stuff i i I ask them, well, I, I share with, with them, um, I, I know you've all heard me speak many times about Slavonis, but that, that, that is, that is who I worship and who's responsible for, for all this life that you see around here in this marsh. And even in the midst of all the chaos and destruction that's spewing, Slavonis roots grow deep. And I I, 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 um, I put my hands on the roots, and then I ask to see if uh, I reach out my hand to everyone else to see perhaps Levonis will bless us in in our continued quest as we search for this Lady of the Marsh. And I see if they'll 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 uh, take my hand and join me in a in a very short prayer. I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna say, "Hi, oh, touching your hand." I'm gonna say to him. Psst. Remember what what just happened, okay? And I'm gonna say, "Be nice. This is our friend." I'm gonna go and I'm hey. gonna grab his hand and say, "Bregar, come here. Be nice to Eli. Come on. It's quick. Yes, I will yes, 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 yes. join the ends with you guys." All right, this is beautiful. You guys are all in this like I'm gonna, spooky swamp. I'm gonna close my hands. eyes. You know, close close my eyes like yeah. this in a meditative but state. I, but I don't know the the words. I say to you have to, to feel it in your heart. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's better. I mean, that that's all right. You don't need to know the words of Slavonis. All you need to, I need you. Uh, Sharad is right. You need to feel the connection 
to Mother Earth and through all of us right now, right? We are all rooted together in 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 this quest. And I, I really, what is your name? I, I look over to, to our guide again. I'm like, sir, what is your name? Please hold my hand. Will you please join us in the prayer? It is my hands are just as dirty as yours. I'm sorry they always get wet for some reason. I don't know why. There's something around you guys. Just beautiful stuff that's happening in this dark swamp. Makes me uh, feel a bit more I'm heartfelt at, towards you guys. Yes. I'm John, blue man, I'm I will ask. hold your hands. Uh, wait. I'm going to uh. cast prestigitation to clean his hands before he does it. Uh, Not going to be wet. I don't know why <laughs> they keep getting wet. <laughs> I think it's like a gland or the thing. <laughs> I'm going to say, Favino is friend to all. And I'm always looking out, okay? Remember that. Remember that. That's beautiful. Okay? All right, all right. Let's, let's now, do this. Hold the hand. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm holding. I'm reaching out. I've, I've been so selfish looking for eels. Hey, I made Andrus get that eel where it took his fingers. And I said it was his own fault. And then I cheated on my taxes. And then... <laughs> uh, I, I, it's all coming out now. I... I feel, especially in the moonlight here. Uh, I will hold your hand, giant blue man, and little man, and big greenish man, and then hat man. I will. I don't even remember your names, but I will. And he holds your hand, and you start to feel like the the roots start to glow for a moment, and there's this almost like this 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 magic for a moment, and you can see it kind of like buff it out like these spores and you can see it go into Eli Dan and Eli Dan you are granted a boon you are granted a boon oh. of magic resistance uh, with three charges so basically what this is uh, you have advantage on spell saves or magic effects uh, three times so so once those oh. are advantage yeah. on spell saves or so spell saves or uh Magic effects, yeah. Magic effects. Wow. Cool. I, um... Did you know that that was going to happen? <laughs> Tell me now. You I, knew I, 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 I was skeptical. Not you, the other oh. one. Any <laughs> I'm, I mean, I, all I know, Bregar, is that when friends confide and you, you put your trust in Slavonis that anything is possible, my dear friend. Nicely oh. done. <laughs> With my hands held like this, I'm, they hear a faint snoring. From me right now, because I'm completely asleep <laughs> in this I, prayer circle like this. Just and that, yeah, that ball is still moving, too. It's just like, you can still see it. It's just, it's oh, moving boy. slowly, but it's just like bobbing forward. Like, oh, the ball is getting away. The light ball. We should, we should chase after that thing. We're done with the oh, roots. Know. Let's go chasing your The magic ball. roots and stuff. Yes. It's, it seems to have taken interest in you. You oh. should lead again. Maybe because it knows that you are such an, well, a well-known artist. Oh, I wake up and I'm kind of <laughs> like, kind of like, and I'm like, to the wall. And I just start walking towards the ball like like nothing happened, you know? I just jump back into it. Okay. As you guys are now following this ball of light, traversing through the swamp, you feel your feet still sucking through. And now you're starting to see, like, just as you're kind of following this ball, you start to see kind of more images of and kind of structures of dilapidation and destruction start to see just like these dilapidated houses kind of like half sunken into the muck like an old stagecoach that is just kind of torn into pieces and it's just kind of all kind of half everything kind of half sunken into the mud mm. start to see uh you start to see like these small little treats on the ground like little little candies just rotten and festering with worms it's, it's, it's 
creepy. Creepy. Super, super spooky. I turn to everyone and I whisper, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're starting to feel like, especially you, Sherrod, as we're, we're getting closer to something following this light, you start to see, like, feel like this this the shadows in this area are starting to get darker and starting to get more intense like the and you're starting to feel like that connection that you have with your patron starting to feel stronger like you can almost kind of feel it's connecting to you a lot, a lot more powerfully you start to hear something <laughs> Master, is that you? Gentle thoughts. I can hear your voice, your darkness. Your reward is so close, I can feel it. People. I can sense it. Where? All I need is a bit more of your powers, and you'll be restored. Is, is he whispering this, or he's saying this like out loud? <laughs> I'm saying it out loud. I'm <laughs> just like at this point. I'm saying it. Yeah, I'm saying guy. it out loud. <laughs> I'm just like, it's like touching my amulet like that. Do uh, everyone? Does everyone hear uh, the patron voice, or is it no, only me? No, it's just me? just you, buddy. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh, it's pleasant. And I will you. I will do as you command. And then I kind of walk a bit faster towards the darkness. Um, I I, anyone else find that? Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I lean over to the two others and say, uh, uh, Is this normal? Do, do, is this what are you supposed to be talking to amulets and stuff? Are we okay? Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't think he's t speaking to Slavonis, that's for sure. Perhaps mm. his brother. Or his mother. <laughs> I'm going to uh, say this loud so you hear this, uh, probably, because uh, I'm not very subtle. <laughs> so. I'm going to say to Bregar, I think he's looking for his crew, Bregar. Let him... Let him be. Uh, Let him. No, no, then I will help him. I hate it when you <laughs> lose your crews. And I sort of turn back and say, we are a bit far to be scared, don't you think? Let's move on. Let's continue. And let's find the source of this power. Oh, well, that's <laughs> creepy. Uh, that is creepy as hell. Carino, uh, Please. I'm going to step a little bit further away from that guy with the hat. What's your name? The name is Sharad. Chad, 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 got it. Exactly. That's exactly it. It's <laughs> kind of nervous to look around as you follow the light. You follow it. It's going closer and closer towards something. You start to see something break out of the horizon of the mist. Start to see something in the distance. This 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 oh. church, oh, the cool. dilapidated structure, and you start to see these these pikes of these 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 humanoids just kind of like surrounded around this central swirling light in the bottom of this this well. This light leads you forward. Yes, you start to feel the power just grow immensely in this place. And you can feel like the ha this hairs on your skin stand up. You, you see, as I just kind of like casually set up this kind of thing, you start to see, like you're just kind of like coming up on behind on this rise. And so you can't, you're not quite in the thick of it yet, but you do see like this something happening in that central area. Uh, everyone roll a perception check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a natural That's... twenty. Oh god! Ooh. Whoa! You got and an eight. Dirty twenty. Ooh. Yeah, you guys, are pretty perceptive. Yeah. Well, That's a I thirteen. Am a half -orc. <laughs> Not me. 
<laughs> I got an eight. I guess in my excitement, I didn't see anything. I'm yeah. Just... Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys with the twenties. Did I did I fix this? Sorry. Uh, Dirty twenty. No, for me. Yes. Yeah, so you start to see like there's this well in in, in front of the the church, and you can see, um, oh, man. It, there's some kind of like energy come pouring out of it like uh, especially like charade uh you can see like you feel like this presence to your 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 patron it feels like whatever's coming out of that well it seems to have some kind of like hindrance uh, a little bit but also like this it's almost like the the area is some kind of desecration or something you can kind of just kind of feel it in your bones but it's it's like there is there's a part of this place that where there's the veil between words is thin and whatever is happening inside that well is kind of contrary to that so it's like there's these conflicting powers trying to build something on the inside so mm. to you it seems like this thing's got to this thing's got to stop whatever this thing is you know what and, an and, impressive source of power! But um, the, it, you also uh, the guys with the, the high twenty rolls, um, you see that those those bodies that were around, you you see that they're still moving. You see that there's still people kind of like alive, a little battered and bruised, maybe a little kind of withered, and you can just see these these strands, thin strands of light, just kind of exiting their mouth. And this kind of pouring into the well. Mm. Well, what are we waiting for? There's people there. They must know where the uh, the, the 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 swamp uh, hag uh, woman old lady is. Mm, is she, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna say, Bregar, that's a good idea. Hey, people! Where's the Where's the swamp lady? Well, I was thinking of more going up to them and ask, but I guess this works. <laughs> um, the uh, the ball of light that was tr uh, that was leading you here. You see it kind of like drift up and go into like one of these graves that are situated around there. And as you shout out, you see this kind of like green light emit from behind the church can i the church mm. <laughs> and kind of pouring through the walls like this kind of liquid gas is this thick mist this green mist that pours out and start to see it kind of coalesce and form together to form the visage this hideous visage of this kind of ghostly womanly form holding these these spectral lanterns. Mm. Oh. Dope. Well, well, well. Doesn't say words, just kind of drifts towards the portal. And then you see it look in your direction. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh, oh snap. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. Seriously. Ooh. Oh, that's a seven. Okay, yeah. Nine for me. 24. 17. That's a, 24. Ooh, that's 24. A Look at you. Look five. at you. I think. Hold I... on a second, though. Um. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 24. I can see a pattern emerging. I'm not a smart man, but I know what two times uh, looks like. <laughs> um, <laughs> Damn it, I'm going to be last this time again. <laughs> okay, so you got a 24. That 24 was the highest, right? Yeah. All right, so 
Give me your best <laughs> shot. Dungeon right. master. Yeah, try to use <laughs> your... <laughs> yeah. I am ready. Yeah. Okay. It is uh, Fabino is first up. You start to see this this ghost kind of emerge from across by the well and the 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 gangly kind of forms of these people they kind of look in your direction uh it's one of uh, who shouted out it was brega brega did you shout out it was me oh, it, was, it was you fabino <laughs> and they kind of they, they look in yeah. your direction <sighs> you can't don't even say words all right fabino what would you like to do I'm gonna so Bragar's next to me, right? I just mm. want to make sure that like that's yes, what I'm imagining. Yes, I'm here. I'm yeah, here. you guys are you guys are I'm here. going to But I'm slow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cast uh, heroism. Heroism and what heroism does heroism. Okay, got it. Um it it so here's what it says. A willing teach you touches imbued with bravery until the spell ends, the creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal to your spell casting ability modifier at the start of each of its turns. So it's uh it's three temporary hit points and those renew every single turn. And I'm casting it with my third level spell slot. So I can touch Bragar and it's gonna affect everybody else. Whoa. And in order to do that, I'm going to say, my people, it is time to the lady like that. And I'm going to like, I'm not going to run, but I'm just going to like stand on a rock or something or maybe on Bragar. Like I'm going to get on his shoulders. <laughs> Let's go. Like, you know, like. <laughs> Fantastic. Is, so that's plus three a temp HP every round. Yep. It's I for, need to have concentration every... up to one minute. Okay. But That's everybody true. gets wow. everybody gets three ten pit points. I oh, mean wow. I everybody. use my third level spell slot. It's well because I, I touch Bragar and then it allows me to do it for and it's like a radius. I cast it on my third level. It's, it's like not a, a radius. It's, oh, it's uh, not... I have to touch. I have okay. to touch, so Okay. And then it's uh, yeah. well I'm okay. sorry, concentration for one minute. Okay, so, one minute. Alright, this is this is round one. So it's, this will only take uh, this will only take five <laughs> i mean one two all right awesome good job all right not then, the goblin though the goblin i don't care about the goblin uh, sorry but i'm scared sorry, i'm gonna go hide behind that tombstone <laughs> uh yeah it's not his turn yet but he, he can yeah he'll he'll do that on his turn all right it is ayla dan's turn as you can kind of see uh now imbued with this heroic energy uh, as you can see, there's this spectral, ghostly form of this this entity, kind of like with this this gnarling, gnashing, kind of screaming face, <laughs> coming towards you. What would you like to um, do? How big is that sort of that squared thing? You think a um, hundred foot radius is around where we are, right? About where we're all kind of populated here, Sebastian. Uh, yeah, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So yeah, she's about 40, 50 feet away. So Great. So I would like to cast um, Plant Growth. They're kind of on the centralized location. And what Plant Growth is going to do is uh, all the plants in a normal 100-foot radius centered around that point become thick and overgrown. Creatures moving through this area must spend four feet of movement for every one feet that it moves. So basically it's gonna make make it harder for folks to move around in this area. Okay, uh, just around, just uh, everywhere basically. So like- this... I mean, basically everywhere, it's a hundred foot radius. So, and I wanna That's centralize huge. it around that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that well there is what I'd like to okay, do. So, so basically kinda... trying to centralize it and make it everywhere. So you're gonna yep. turn all of this into difficult terrain. That's what I'm doing, baby. Okay. Uh, um, uh, as I cast that, I, I turn I'm like I'm like, Slavonis, let the roots grow deep, and I place my fingers and I kind of mush them into the mud and and uh, and cast the spell. All right, awesome. Yeah, you feel like your 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 deity kind of like speaking to you through these 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 like whatever kind of plants that kind of come out of the ground. It looks like they're kind of corrupted and toxic and they don't resemble the normal kind of like 
naturally wild magic that you normally imbue. It seems something is dark about this place. Uh, but it, it, the spell does take effect. Oh, excellent. Okay. And that's, uh, that's going to be... Uh, yeah, that's going to be... Actually, Are you gonna move uh, it I'm going to do a bonus... I'm going to do a bonus action, and I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Bragar as well. And that's going to give you plus two uh, to your AC, bud. Okay. okay. And uh, I, as, I, as I, I place my hand on him and I say clickety-clackety, go wackety. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, action. Bonus action. Did you want to move at all? Um, oh shoot! So you're you're this guy over here. I'm that guy right there. I'm okay where I'm at right now. All right, all clustered together. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect when you say it like that. <laughs> all right, all right. It is now the the monster's turn. Um, and as you guys are casting magic. Uh, you can see a couple more of these these wisps. They kind of come out of the ground, uh, of the graves. These these balls of light, and they start to swarm towards uh, Fabino and Iladan. And they kind of obscure your vision a bit. Mm. I'm gonna have three of them. That seem to be like attracted to the the magic you guys are casting. Mm. So they call it, they're, My they're friends, obs- they come to help us, to bless us <laughs> with their power. To bless you, a blessing or a curse. They it, it they are slightly obscuring your vision a little bit. So any kind of uh, like a, uh, attacks that require like visual kind of line of sight, you might have disadvantage unless you can kind of get rid of okay. these guys. Um, and, and now this zombie guy, uh, zombie guy, this, uh, goblin guy, he's gonna, he's gonna use his action to dash and hide, because he's a goblin, uh, behind one of these, like, bushes that, hey, I go, go on your silver, I'm gonna go hide in this bush, I'll be rooting for you, though, go, go team, I'm on this team, I'm just from the bush. <laughs> And with that, the large ghost-like lady creature floats eerily towards you over the difficult terrain. Because she's a flying ghost, man. She's flying over the, the roots and stuff. Oh, balls. I didn't even think about that. Balls. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, no, no, no. 30. There we go. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. You can see her face contort in a visage of pure horror as she releases a baneful scream. Can I get everybody to make a... Is it wisdom? Let's see. Constitution saving throw, please. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no. I've I've got it too. Uh that's not that good. Oh this, this, this. 14 for, for me. So is it just a roll constitution, right? Constitution saving throw, yeah. Um Eladan, you would have that advantage because of your boon as well. That's right, thank you. Ooh, so, I like that. That's a dirty twenty. Twenty? Alright, so I think uh what did you get, Bregar, sorry? I think I got 23. 23? Yes. That w- yeah, that's a save. So I think only Sharad. You kind of like feel like this yeah. this entity has something against you. you. You feel its presence kind of reach into your brain and it causes you to drop to zero hit points. You are unconscious. Oh. Uh, I'm playing with you guys. And <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Yeah, you... <laughs> You see, just Shirai just like fall on the ground. You you are currently oh. di- dying right now, so you'll have to do death saving throws on your turn. The rest of does you. That include the, does that include the temporary hit points, or is it just. It doesn't even matter about it hit points. It doesn't matter. It just says drop yeah, to zero hit points. 
uh, and the rest of you take 10 psychic damage. What if you don't have a mind to be psyched? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> damn it. Oh, so remember that you have uh, temporary hit points, guys. Right. So. Okay. That um, that is it for the monster's roll... turn. I'll uh, just roll it with a dice I have. Yes. It. Uh, yes. Can I get Sharad? You can feel like your patron talking to you in ear. No oh, truth. <laughs> I still need you. Uh, death saving throw, please. That's a success. I had a 12. A success. Fantastic. Master, please give me strength. <laughs> he still draws breath. That is your turn. Breger, you're just getting annoyed yeah. at just standing idle for so long. He acts yes. twitching. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> this uh, creature is very close, I can see, regardless of difficult terrain. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. So I start raging, and I'm gonna yeah, attack with a reckless attack. The first thing I do. All right, attack uh, recklessly. You shall. Yes. I shout, "Oh, the elemental man, hex devil," which is something in Orcish. <laughs> But it means uh, roughly translated uh, to hell with you, you damn witch. Um, so I uh, do that and then I attack her. Okay. With my great decks. Go for it, buddy. Let her feel it. Did you Ooh, feel natural it? 20. Whoa. I'm roll this <laughs> advantage. Natural 20. So, excellent. Uh, holy <laughs> excellent. crap. Excellent. Uh, so now I roll my damage, and then I think there's something else also. Oh, it's only 10. But, um, oh shit, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. There is something here, I remember. When I score a critical eight, because I'm a half orc, uh, roll uh, one of the dice in addition of. Yeah, so, uh, 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 God, sorry. Uh, so I need to roll a, a d12. I don't mm -hmm. have d12 here, so I'm just going to roll this one again. Um, uh, so, se 17 in that 17. Yes. Okay. As you kind of <laughs> plunge, you feel the rage kind of building up in you. You feel your heart pounding in your ears. Your blood eyes go completely bloodshot as you reach out with your axe and slice into this ghostly form. You do this, this, this damage to this spooky specter, but it seems like not all the damage went through. It seems like it is has some kind of uh, resistance to uh, normal weapons, unless you have a magic weapon. Yeah. Then, uh, then I don't know about. And I'm. I quickly think the second attack will probably hit her even better, so I attack <laughs> again. All right, go for it. This time, not with advantage. Uh, but 21, that should hit. 21, yeah, that'll do it. Slice into that spectral form once and, more. And with a total of 8. Take this! Uh, I lunge the axe, uh, swinging <sighs> upwards. You can see it kind of like lunge into her and kind of slice upwards. You see some of the, the spectral kind of ghost-like tendrils kind of get torn up by the, the axe. It kind of slices through. <laughs> kind of hisses at you. You see her eyes kind of glow and hiss. She does not seem too pleased about that. That's uh, good. Come that... on, swamp bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to move at all? Or are you just, you just hacking away? No, just no, standing I'm, I'm, there? I'm standing uh, right close to her. I'm not moving away from here. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> all right. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, I completely forgot about this, but we'll kind of, it should have happened at the top of the round. But you see some of the, the people and some of this, this, uh, this, this, this surrounding ones. You see some of them get completely just like the, the strings that were kind of being sucked out of them, the, the little tendrils of energy start to completely envelop this one. You see them completely get vaporized as they let out a mournful scream. <laughs> you see them get vaporized. And the portal within the center builds in a slight intensity. All right, Fabino. Everyone is your... sees this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone. Uh, it's, it's Fabino's turn, buddy. All right. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast because when I have concentration, I can still cast spells as long as they don't require concentration, right? So we keep our temporary. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna cast a, a vicious mockery on the creature <laughs> on this ghost. I'm gonna okay. say, hey, don't touch my friends. Those are nice people. And I'm gonna that's gonna be like my my insult, right? So All right. Uh, it's it must a, succeed it's... on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. It is, let's see, wisdom. Oh, it fails. Yeah, you got it. She just kind of reels back. <sighs> Doesn't seem too pleased by that nope. one. You can see her gaze kind of dashing okay. around. Now it's kind of like intent on yours. So they take, it takes 2d4 damage. So um, let me roll that real quick. Um, three damage. Three damage. I'll note that down. All right. <laughs> I will note this, that. Down. Does not care about I, uh, my about my insult. And then I'm, wait with my bonus action. With my bonus action, hmm? I'm gonna say I'm gonna use a, a healing word, and I'm Click. gonna use it on Sharad, and I'm oh. gonna say, that I get back up. You need to tell the story of this. So when I write this song, it could be glorious. And I'm gonna. All right, seven HP. Seven HP. Nice. Amazing. Sharad, Thank you your, so much. Your eyes open once more. You are prone, but you're you're alive and not doing death saves anymore. Good work, Fabino. Uh, take a point of inspiration, Fabino. Thank that you. was great. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Okay. All um, right. And also, Fabino, I'm just gonna hint this a uh, little bit off topic, but you've noticed whenever we fight side by side that you seem to have an easier time hitting people. There, there is a reason I am famous, Gregor. I need you to understand that. Yeah, my glory, my fame is for a reason. Okay? Of course, of course. And it's yes, more yes. Than, song, than my song, my dragon song. Okay? Um, okay. But I do, um, if I can, I want to run away from the lights. Like, I want to be able to have a better, a more clear vision so we're not, like, all in the same group. Okay, yeah. Um... If there's anything I can run to to get some cover or anything yeah, like a, that. That's uh, a ha happy little gravestone over there you could probably get to. I'm going to uh, say, Vegar, you're up! Let's go! And I'm going to go run behind the gravestone. All right, this one over here? Yeah, that one, exactly. All right. Yeah, you I'm can not get sure about the distance, there, but I would assume I am close to the, the, the swamp lady. Yes. Uh, yeah, you would be right up to it because you were hacking away at yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Eladan, it is your turn. Great. Um, Sharar, uh, buddy, uh, I know you got 7 HP there, so I'm, I'm feeling like you need a, an extra little boost um, so we can get you back in this game. Uh, I'm going to cast a second level Cure Wounds on uh, my buddy there and give him a little bit more HP and make sure he's feeling ni nice and healthy and spry. Um, so that's going to be... 14. Oh, nice. Wait, you're going to make me do math. Um, <laughs> that's six. That's 16 HP back to you, buddy. Oh. Thank you, Ooh. my friends. <laughs> um, I say... I say, hey, now I don't know if you can, if you can, if you can wackety, but whatever you need to do, you need to start whack wackety in it as well. That may sound weird in retrospect and hindsight, <laughs> but we need to fight this thing. Yeah, um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. I'd like to get a, get away from these lights as well, uh, Sebastian. Is okay. there cover? Is there anything to the right? Uh, there is a tombstone over Another there. Gravestone. Yep. Another gravestone. Yep. Yeah. Some more gravestones. Let me uh, let me head over to that gravestone just to the right there. All right, let's see how much movement you got. Let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. If we get you there, one movement. Yep, that'd get me there. All right. Cool. Uh, am I, am I still my... prone? By the way, yes. Just, just yeah, you'd still be prone. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
Could all I have right. used? Oh. Nah, that's all right. I was gonna retcon something, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm open to it. What's, uh, what's? I was gonna say is, could I? Could I have? Um, with the cure wounds, could I have grabbed him by the hand and used used uh, a little a little bit of effort to br lift him up off the ground to bring him out of prone? Uh, yeah, I would. You could do that. It might cost you some movement, and I still say, yeah, like it, you, it was close enough to get to there. So yeah, definitely you could pick him up. Okay. Uh, kind of flavor, cool. flavor, flavor grab. Perfect. <gasps> All right, Sharad, you're awesome. on your feet. You get some movement back. Um, yeah, as you guys are like, let's see, where we oh. where, where we at in the initiative here? Oh, it's monsters' turn. Don't forget to add your plus. Don't forget to add your temp HP. We're at the beginning of the new round too. That's so. right. Yes. Round two. Mm -hmm. Everybody add those extra hit points. Uh, as you guys Lush. are like casting spells, uh, you see the, these wisps start to gravitate towards you. One, there's a couple towards you. There's one over here. Starting to follow Favino. Doesn't have the movement to get all the way up to you. Ah, oh, he'll dash. Dashy little 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 ball little ball of light. You see another one kind of bear itself from inside one of the gravestones. Check here, all these wisps are coming out. They seem oh. to be drawn to this magic. You said one came out to this from the gravestone, so now there's two near me. Yeah, there's one. Uh, so you're you're here. So there's one right next to you. Uh, that'll obscure mm -hmm. your vision a bit this way. And there's one behind you at that gravestone over there. But he's he's just he's just chilling there at the moment. But he's he's kinda popping out just to say, hey what's up? I, I can I said some I said some magic here. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, and also you see another one of these 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 pikes, these these people. You see this one just kind of get eviscerated and just kind of sucked into the portal. And that portal grows once more. It's not that many left, guys. All right, it's the ghost's turn. It is. Oh man, Fabino was doing some some words and stuff, but Bregard's been doing a bulk of the damage, and you're looking mighty tasty there. That hunk of muscle. She she wants she wants yeah, that. She come wants, on. Yeah, she wants that. She wants to fill her lanterns, buddy. You look looking I work out five times a day. <laughs> looking mighty juicy. <laughs> she comes towards you. Okay. She's going. That looks good. Oh, I also forgot about that too. Uh, could I get? This is a. I'll do this at the end of this turn, but uh, she is going to kind of reach out and kind of grab you right on the chest, Brega. Uh, she's mm -hmm. gonna. She's got a roll to do it first. No gimmies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she, she, but you nimbly dodge out of the way as she. Uh, she's trying to claw at you with these gangly-like arms and grabs right into you, but you kind of manage to kind of shake her off. Her spectral form doesn't quite make purchase. Uh, then, but then you kind of everyone around maybe except no everyone everyone's in the range uh, they can see her uh, can I get everyone to make a wisdom saving throw please sure 19 I got a 9 um, 9 is oh, a fail wow. 21 21 is a succeed Brego what you get buddy <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> 15. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, a pure 15. 15, that's a success. All right, Fabino's the only one who failed. Uh, you are, wait, do you have immunity to this? It's frightened condition. You had some spell thing, right? Did you have something? To I did, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll tell you right now. Um, is, is that, that what all find it. Wait, is that what all heroism it. does? Uh, yeah, but... Heroism doesn't affect me. I cast it on the other people, not me. All right. But let me see here. Um, can I use my inspiration to roll? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Here we go, baby. <laughs> let me let me do this. A wisdom saving throw again. 
<laughs> Worse. I had nothing. I didn't get anything. I got a four. Oh. He's, he's, that, that, that horrifying visage that she has, the unfurling skin and flaps of spectral energy, they hit home for you, Fabino. It's like something you've, this horrifying thing that you've seen in your nightmares. You are frightened for one minute. Oh. Uh, but you can try again to shake it off later. But that's it. That's the, the, rest okay. of you, the rest of you guys are immune to it, though. You guys are saved. So you're all safe. This this old ghost face, I ain't scared of this ghost face. But Fabino, he's scared of that. He's scared of that ghost face bad. And that I that's... can't move closer to it. <laughs> no, you can't move closer to it. And uh, she's gonna use her movement though. She's gonna she's gonna she, not having much luck with Brega. She is gonna drift over to you. She can see. She can see. She can see. Attack of opportunity. Ooh. Oh. Def de definitely, definitely. Mm, I suspect that so much. Come on, come on. Can I roll now? <laughs> yes, definitely go for it. Sorry, such a fucking know-it-all. Sorry, I mean, no, no, that's a, good. Mm, oh, know-it-all. Go, go, uh, go. Uh, taste my axe in your backside. <laughs> oh crap! Get that ghost. Uh, Fourteen. But 14. 14, 14 is gonna do it. Fourteen will hit. Oh, yeah. Nice. Roll, roll damage. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> five, but it was really good five damage, you know, <clears throat> roll a one. Oh, you've... by the way, sorry, and I forgot those last time. I'm raging, so everything, every of my damage should have been plus two also. Oh, uh, okay. So actually it's oh. seven. All right, I'll add that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is rage, raging, that gives you some advantage on, like, fear effects and stuff? Is that right? Like yeah, an advantage on strength checks, saving throws, uh, not attacks, plus two melee with strength weapons, resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage, and the swamp lady. Yeah, let's, let's take a minute here to talk about rage and really what it's doing to families across the world. Uh, no, no, let's talk about <laughs> ghosts. Uh, let's, get into, yeah. let's get into killing this ghost. Let's do this. All right. So yes, you clip her one of her spectral tendrils, and you can't see it. Can it cut off and drift upwards? And you seem like you're you're chipping away at her Brega. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're winning. But are you? As you see, another one of these, these 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 people. Not all of this one, because there's there's a lot of them. Uh, they get. How many are? It? So you've got five, uh, six, six left. You see another one. <laughs> get disintegrated. There's only five left of these these guys. Four, four. Yeah, I'd say a couple of them get vaporized and sucked into the portal. These poor souls. Who are they? Well, we never talked to them, so we don't know. Goblin is over there cowering. I, I talked to them. Oh yes, I you tried. did. Yeah, he. They Sebastian. were. They were just sad. I tried. I think they were a little distracted. Getting their brains sucked out or something. I don't know, some ghost stuff going on down here. I get it. I understand. I understand. Oh, yes. No, yeah, you tried, tried talking to him. It wasn't Screamed out. It's, uh, yeah, they, they, are, they, are, they are incomparable. They, they're not, at this moment, they're not, they're, not, they're not regular people right now. Okay, that is it for the monster's turn. Sherrod, you're back up. It's on your feet, soldier. Yes. As Eladan put you there. <laughs> Clickety clack. How are you? Thank right. you so much, mes amis. You can see, you can see the oh, back yeah. of this this creature, this entity, and the 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 rest of these these poor souls getting sucked into this portal. But your allies have you back. I, mm -hmm. I will uh, remove my necklace and sort of look through it with my eyes and cast X Blade Curse on the ghost. Oh. Yeah. Which makes me crit on 19s and 20s, Ooh. as well as adding bonus damage if I hit. And then I will cast an Eldritch Blast on that uh, scary <laughs> lady. Now just oh, this uh, is it... a 12. 12, 12 will hit her. It'll do it. You got that ghost. Incredible. Got to run the, got to run the ghost ass. For 12 damage, uh, of force damage, and I will pull her 
out of reach of uh, Fabino with Grasp of Adar, so and feed towards me. Well, you can do that. Strength. You can suck yes. it towards you. Oh, how, how many exactly. feet? How many feet did you say? Uh, ten feet. Ten feet towards me. You can see like this. You can only have one. Uh, yeah. Attack. <laughs> yeah, a spectral yeah, eldritch blast granted by your patron it kind of tears this large chunk of spectral energy off her you can see it just kind of <laughs> kind of burst off her she does not look happy about that you can hear your patron in your ear just he shall be your soon master <laughs> As I answer to him. Uh, would you like to move at all? Or are you, you good? I'm good where I am, and that's the end of my turn. Awesome. Okay. It is Brega. Your turn, buddy. Oh. This, this ghost is not looking yes. good. Is there any chance that I can yell something out to uh, Colin, uh, to Eladin and Fabino? Uh, have I seen that Fabino is frightened? Or, like... Uh, yeah, roll a quick step Probably check not. for me. Okay. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah, he looks like he's pooping his pants over there by that gra that gravestone. Whatever was yeah. going on with that goblin earlier. We're getting shades of that one. There's a little, little Fabino there. Little so, I yell out to Eladin. Eladin, save the people who are, who are uh, uh, rope. They are getting sucked. It's energy thing and then i probably lose my action on doing that no can i attack the, the witch after that yeah you can attack is it okay yeah you can do that okay uh then i'm gonna do my uh first attack will be a reckless one again okay. um, get it because i'm i'm going all get in it. so first one Oof. uh yeah i'm gonna hit it's 25 or yeah 25 yeah, to hit. 25, yeah, 25 will do it. Just, 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 just a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. <laughs> and let's see how now. Uh, tw 14 is the first attack. Even with the resistance. Second that's attack. Not, that's not good. That's not good. It's not looking good for my ghost. Oh, she didn't even do a cool thing. Go keep going, uh, Brega. 20, 24. <laughs> uh, okay. Second attack. That hits. 24. And, oh, yes. Maximum damage. So 16 plus 2, 18 damage. Oh, the hell with the screen up! As the orcish comes out, as this this creature turned around and it was coming towards uh, Sharad, and got blasted by this eldritch blast. You can see a big chunk kind of blast out of the side with its this ghostly energy. You saw your opening. You ducked down, bring brought up your axe into a giant swing and just cut right through the middle of her, right up into her jaw and you can feel almost like this spectral bone crack and explode this energy just bursts out everywhere and you kind of feel you know, everyone just gets knocked to the ground momentarily as this ghost just eviscerates and explodes and you're just standing there amongst the portal and you can still kind of see it swirling around but the creature is now gone look at my axe and say holy shit <laughs> well played, my friend. <laughs> Fabino is your turn, buddy. Unless, uh, Brega, you would like to move. No, well... Sure, I can move towards uh, the closest folk, I guess. Okay, we move over to these guys. What Fabino? I'm not, I'm, I'm not really seeing who Fabino is. Or is Fabino out of his... Uh, yeah, you see him uh, shake out of his fear when, that, uh, when, when, you, when, you, when you killed my ghost. Then I run towards the folk, the closest folk. Okay. There are those ones, yes, exactly. I say and point to the screen. <laughs> I get you. I get you. I'll, I'll be. The, I'll do the pointing. That's that's Leif's finger pointing now. That one. Yep. 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 Thanks. You get you get over there and you just see their kind of sullen, sunken faces, almost like the essence is being drained out of them. Save us. Uh -huh. Why did you say so in the first place? We were dying to busy dying. All right, Fabino. As soon as I can. As the, the ghost is destroyed, you shake out of your fear. Uh, and you see some of these wisps are now just kind of like hanging around you. 
but they're just kind of like joyfully just like bobbing in the air but you see uh these 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 people they're still getting they're still getting sucked by this portal whatever this is uh, what would you like is, to do is there is there like any wind or anything coming outside of the portal outside of the well uh yeah there's a little bit of wind not enough to knock you over but it's a uh, it's a little, little little breeze a little magic breeze so i'm gonna i'm gonna use my movement to run onto the well and i'm okay. gonna like so my, my leather jacket i just kind of open it up a little bit so that like the wind is coming from neath and it's like got my hair flowing you know what i mean it's like <laughs> oh, the it's drama just, is so it's happening flavor. right now it's, it's, it's for flavor <laughs> exactly <laughs> and i say come back to life and tell the story of what happened today and i'm gonna like you know healing word one of the one of the Dying people, you know. Oh, the dying people. Wanna... Hey, you got it. All right. So you want to heal? That's healing my with... bonus action. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see one of the this guy. He was he's like some little kid. He was like dying. He had this like weird like bowl haircut, and he's just had like, this beaky nose. But he looks up in your direction. Uh, what's going on? I'm I'm scared. Are you Fabino? I've heard about you. Yes. I am little boy. The Go back song. and oh. tell the people this story. Go now. I'm still tied up, though. I'm gonna use my action to just <laughs> to just cut like Zoro, <laughs> like right. that. <laughs> so, so you're gonna retro your movement to him? Is yeah, that what that's you're fine. Do? Yeah, that's you can, fine. You can I'll, I'll accept that. You know, I. Uh, I, I, I it was a nice moment in my maybe, mind. Maybe it was like How on, about... on the run. You were kind of like running over there. Breeze and stuff. Just kind of going fast. Maybe, maybe, Quick maybe magic it's like spell. one moment. Like I, I envision this. Like this is what I absolutely want to happen. And it just does it. And the real thing is just I heal the kid and I run to cut him. Whatever. Right. It's fine. He, he gets down. All right. Beautiful. And, uh, as we're kind of like hopping out of combat here. All of you kind of like go around cutting down the, 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 the guys and you can see they're all kind of like suddenly you kind of heal them up as best as you can um, and you guys go around and rescue them. You can see like the portal just kind of like flicker and die down. It's almost like there's this this energy that was building in this area and it's just been and you can see like even like there's some little pool of water you could see like there was a little bit of like some eels swimming in there they've come back and it looks like that and ursula people we that, just killed ursula that bad magic <laughs> that bad magic that was around here you purged it from this land and Sherrod, you can hear that voice in your head just build no we build Finally, Master, it is over. You'll be restored in no time. You do that thing again. <laughs> you can feel that the evil from this place has been purged. This ghostly entity, whatever it was, how it was twisted to this evil, you know, that was bad evil. Because this mist starts to lift off from... It's, it's a swamp, so there's still going to be mist, but it's not as thick. It's not as thick, you helped it. And that portal is gone, and the, the, the people that you saved, these are some of the inhabitants from Gwendelbrook. And they look at you with wide eyes and just, Thank you. Thank you for saving us. We'll be here forever in our debt. And I guess I owe you 12 silver. Goes over to, to Fabino and puts it in his hand. That's a good job killing that ghost lady. Welcome back from Gwendelbrook anytime. Free eels for life. As you uh, he of... hands that that silver over to to him, and I reach back into my pocket and I present him one more time. I just hold the tree out for him, and I I kind of like go, hmm? "All right, I'll eat your tree. Give me your give me your tree." Oh, don't <laughs> eat the tree! Ah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tree, little baby tree. I, I'll take care of it in my stomach. I got those wet hands. I can give this thing super nutritious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As you guys are walking back to Gwendelbrook now, heads held high, job well done. What will be next on the horizon for these heroes as we journey out of the Shadebog?
Thanks so much for playing, guys. It was fantastic to have you on the live stream and uh, share this on the channel. And uh, it's been an amazing game. Hopefully, you guys all had fun watching and playing. And it was uh, amazing. To Great job, guys. Inspirational round. We won't use it again. But everyone take a point of inspiration. We did this. We did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Sebastian. I did yeah. amazing. Seriously, epic. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Thank great you. setting, great DMing, and great role players. Thank, Thank you, guys. Great voices all around. Thank I think everyone was really, really on point. I, uh, fantastic voices, guys. This is fantastic. So, thank you, everybody, for stopping into the live stream. And until next time, there will be uh, more live plays happening on the channel with more different atmospheric techniques and every kind of thing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Consider subscribing to these guys because they're fantastic as well. All the music you've heard in this live stream are all travis's music so yeah. uh it's all fantastic music that i've been use able to use for this stream rpg music maker you can check that out danny has a fantastic 3d uh printing channel called 3d printed tabletop i've been watching that so i could 3d print a lot of this stuff uh <laughs> that was happening on here with all the fails that i was having and now more successes thanks to him leif uh inspirational with all the miniature painting you too colin and all the crafting you guys have been doing it's been fantastic to share this creative space with you all and until next time let's create and inspire until the next adventure see you see you guys hey, everybody bye goodbye